Don Juan abruptly asked me if I had succeeded in learning the dreaming techniques he had taught me. I had been practicing assiduously and had been able, after a monumental effort, to obtain a degree of control over my dreams. Don Juan was very right in saying that one can interpret the exercises as being entertainment. For the first time in my life, I had been looking forward to going to sleep. I gave him a detailed report of my progress. It had been relatively easy for me to learn to sustain the image of my hands after I had learned to command myself to look at them. My lucidity would last what seemed to be a long time, until I would finally lose control and would become immersed in ordinary, unpredictable dreams. I had no volition whatsoever when I would give myself the command to look at my hands, or at other items in my dreams. It would just happen. At a given moment, I would remember that I had to look at my hands and then at the surroundings. There were nights, however, when I could not recall have done anything at all. He seemed to be satisfied and wanted to know what were the usual items I had been finding in my visions. I could not think of anything in particular and started elaborating on a nightmarish dream I had had the night before. Don't get so fancy, he said dryly. I told him that I had been recording all the details of my dreams. Since I had begun to practice looking at my hands, my dreams had become very compelling and my sense of recall had increased to the point I could remember very minute details. He said that to follow them was a waste of time because details and vividness were in no way important. Ordinary dreams get very vivid as soon as you begin to set up dreaming. That vividness and clarity is a formidable barrier and you are worse off than anyone I had ever met in my life. You have the worst mania. You write down everything you can. In all fairness, I believe what I was doing was appropriate. Keeping a meticulous record of my dreams was giving me a degree of clarity about the nature of the visions I had while sleeping. Drop it. It's not helping anything. All you're doing is distracting yourself from the purpose of dreaming, which is control and power. I'm going to remind you of all the techniques you must practice. First, you must focus your gaze on your hands as the starting point. Then shift your gaze to other items and look at them in brief glances. Focus your gaze on as many things as you can, but remember, only glance briefly at the images so they don't shift. Then go back to your hands. Every time you look at your hands, you renew the power needed for dreaming. So in the beginning, don't look at too many things. Four items will suffice for now. Later on, you may enlarge the scope until you can cover all you want. But as soon as the images begin to shift and you feel you're losing control, go back to your hands. When you feel you can gaze at things indefinitely, you'll be ready for the next technique. I'm going to teach you this new technique now, but I expect you to put it in use only when you're ready. The next step in setting up dreaming is to learn to travel. The same way you have learned to look at your hands, you can will yourself to move, to go places. First, you have to establish a place you want to go to. Pick a well-known spot, perhaps your school or a park, a friend's house. Then will yourself to go there. This technique is very difficult. You must perform two tasks. You must will yourself to go to a specific locale. And then, when you have mastered that technique, you have to learn to control the exact time of your traveling. 